Hi, I'm Travis Burnett, Northern Indiana Field Agronomist with Bex Hybrids with me today is Travis Coleman. Travis is our Southern Indiana Field Agronomist. And we're gonna take some time today to talk a little bit about planter maintenance and talk about some upgrades we can, can add to uh, some of these planters, some things we've found in PFR uh, to take your corn crop to the next level. So Travis, why don't you, why don't you walk us through some, uh, some of the maintenance and, and common wear parts of, of some of these planter units? Yeah, so step one, we're gonna start looking at chains. Every chain on old planters, we're gonna probably replace. Then I'm gonna go down and look at our openers, uh, make sure they're sharp and touching uh, appropriately. Then I'm gonna look at press wheels, um, make sure there's no any wear and tear. Um, and then finally, we're going to look at closing wheels. Uh, Bex has done a lot of research on closing wheels, and Travis is going to give us an update on some PFR proven ones. All right, so if we transition over here to some of these units, uh, we'll talk a little bit about, about our closing wheel research. So um, we've been doing research for a long time now in PFR with, with closing wheels, some aftermarket bolt-on closing wheels, and really what we've found, you know, just about everything's better than a solid rubber wheel. Uh, but taking that to the next level, not just changing the wheels, but the system, the closing system in general, different aftermarket tails. There's lots of things that we can do that are really easy to bolt on and really fairly inexpensive uh, that help get us a, a, a better closing action on that, that seed trim. So, you know, if we all planted in perfect conditions, 100% of the time, this wouldn't matter, right? But uh, that, that's not the world we live in, unfortunately. And there's always portions of a field or, or certain areas or certain fields you have problems with where you're planting in those less than ideal conditions. And that's where aftermarket closing would really come in. Okay, so this is a system here made by Schaffert. It's a four-link closer. Essentially what happens here is it allows this closing tail to travel more vertically. Okay, so that really helps, especially if you're farming in, in areas where you have a lot of topography changes or rolling topography, maybe some washouts you're farming through. Uh, this is gonna allow for a lot more vertical travel of that closing system. Also part of that system is this walking axle. Again, it's all about um, allowing more uh, travel Okay, in those undulating uh, conditions as you're going across the field. Um, so PFR proven closing system there in the Schaffert uh, four link closer. Um, another one that, that's newer here, this is uh, from Precision and this is called Furrow Force. This is not currently PFR proven, it's something we're, we're testing currently in PFR, but it's one that I wanted to point out because it's very different than any other closing system uh, it's on the market today. Uh, it, it's actually automated, right? And we're, there's kind of a two-stage system here where we're, we're pinching or, or um, closing with these discs, okay, and then packing that uh, with, with the packer there. Uh, and one thing I've noticed with that one uh, so far in our testing is you, it, you even have a hard time finding where that, that seed trench is after this, is, this has gone through. It really crumbles that sidewall and, and provides a really nice um, microenvironment right there around the seed. And that's one thing we're, we're trying to uh, minimize the sidewall compaction, okay, in those, those less than ideal soil conditions. Um, we're going to move over to the next part over here. Uh, so closing wheels is one thing, okay, one of the first things we'll, we'll recommend you, you add to your system. Uh, the second thing, and the thing I'm most excited about in PFR, and one thing that I, I recommend to a lot of guys, especially if they're in the market for, for upgrading a lot, of, a lot of these older players that are out there today, uh, this two by two by two concept. Okay, so starter fertilizer and two by two uh, system. Um, instead of putting all that fertility on one side of the row, we're essentially we're, we're just putting on both sides of the row. Okay, we're eliminating some of that uh, preferential root growth that we get with, with one band, and we're, we're actually able to run higher rates of fertility by putting on both sides of the row versus one. So this is a system from Precision. Uh, this is called Conceal. So if you, you look here, uh, there's actually a knife that runs in this split gauge wheel. Okay, and that's actually applying that fertility on each side of the row. And it's really a really compact unit. And that's just one of three systems we've tested in PFR. Another one we've tested is this Yetter system here. Actually amounts to the, the back of the unit um, and extends your closing tail out, out a little further. Okay, so same concept, we're applying fertility on both sides of the row versus one. Now, the reason I like this, um, this has probably been the most consistent thing we've ever tested in PFR, at least in my time here in PFR. Uh, we see a, a very consistent five to six bushel advantage by applying the same amount of fertility, just splitting on both sides of the row versus one. Okay, but then I mentioned before, we're able to run higher rates at, uh, at, at safely, right? We're on higher rates fertility safely. We're splitting up that salt load, okay? And we'll pick up another two to three bushel by running those higher rates with the planter, putting a bigger base rate down with the planter right there in the root zone in that two by two by two concept. Okay, so those are two options we have. Uh, that are both PFR proven for that two by two by two concept. 
And then the last thing I like to talk about is hydraulic downforce. Okay, and there's lots of different ones out there. We tested delta force and precision. But again, when you think about our goal of raising that picket fence stand of corn, okay, having all that corn come up within a 48 hour period, making sure we put the right down pressure okay, on, and especially as you transition into different soil types and different environments throughout the field, that delta downforce and precision or some of the other hydraulic downforce systems out there today are gonna react a lot quicker than a spring would or even an airbag system would. Okay, so again, it's about maximizing that planter pass. Okay, we can't, we can't, no matter how good the season is, uh, later in the season, no matter how good pollination weather we have, no matter how good grain fill is, if we screw up the planter pass, it, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's the most important pass we're ever gonna make in the field. Those are some things we found in PFR that are gonna help maximize that pass, okay, and add more profitability to your acre. So with that, um, that's gonna wrap up a little bit of, of uh, what we're going to talk about from a, a planter maintenance and planter upgrade standpoint. So let's review here. Uh, just so I'm following you right, Travis, um, let's check our wear parts, make sure our planter is working correctly. We have one shot to do this. Um, if we're looking to upgrade, let's go over some of the parts that Travis touched on. Hydraulic downforce, 2x2x2, two by two by two, and closing wheels. PFR proven products that help increase yield. Right. Anything to add? No, no other than, you know, that, that planter pass is the most important pass we're going to make all year, right? Um, you know, oftentimes we talk a lot about weathering pollination, okay, or, or grain fill, uh, and how important those, those timings are throughout the year. None of that matters if we don't get the planter pass correct, okay? So let's do everything we can that's within our power to make sure that we can get those picket fence stands that it takes to consistently raise high yields, okay? So with that, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Travis or myself. I'd be happy to answer those. Uh, and with that, wish you a happy and successful spring of 2021. Thank you.